Hey there everybody, welcome to this Sunday's video. Great to see you as always. Thanks for taking the time to come and check in with me. As I mentioned in my previous video, um, once in a while we're going to do these weekly check-ins and this happens to be one of those weeks when I don't have a proper, you know, set up, filmed video ready to go. We would just do a check-in, see what you're up to. I'll tell you about what I've been doing, uh, things I bought, of course, and things I'm into, things I'm working on, and just a general check-in, chit-chat, update, things like that. So if you want a snack, this is a good time to pause the video, go grab yourself a drink or a snack. I know that always helps when, um, or you know just hanging out so I want to talk to you about a couple of beauty products that I bought uh, some Sephora samples I redeemed some points for one really beautiful PR package um, I've actually gotten a few PR packages but I'm just going to show you this one for today um, and then we're going to talk about some of my sewing updates um, I don't have time to do a so what now full you know dedicated video for the sewing so this is a mixture of everything um, I'm sure you'll find something that you enjoy in here so let's jump right in with maybe some fashion items how about that I had mentioned on Instagram that I was looking for a pair of leggings or just a leggings brand or style that will be fit for petites at 5'2 myself it's really hard to find pants of course and then leggings although they're stretchy you still have a length problem and sometimes the proportions are not right either many of you suggested the um tna brand sold at aritzia i haven't had a chance to go into the store and check that out yet although i might just order um, online i love the variety of colors that comes in a few of you suggested the h m and then um some of you suggested like Garage, which is a popular line here in Canada. But I found actually a pair while I was browsing them all from the Bay. Um, if you live in Canada, the Bay would be obvious. But they sell a brand, and I believe this is their brand or exclusive to them, called Style and & Co. And they have a petite line. So I bought a pair of just simple black cotton leggings great stretch great fabric this is not athletic fabric it's just stretch cotton and the length is perfect if you are five two five three this will be perfect ankle length for you and um this was 24 dollars at regular retail and then i paid 750 because i found one that was marked for sale so i know you can't see the whole thing right now because i'm not far back enough but if you are close to a bay or you want to order online in Canada, Style & Co, the regular petite leggings are beautiful and not terribly expensive. So that was a great find. Then, if you have been at the uh, grocery store or you know in the bookstore checking out the new magazine releases, I hope that you picked up a copy of the March 2017 edition of In Style. I really enjoy In Style. I used to read them when I was a teen and I think at that time the aesthetic and the overall concept was not quite in my age group, age range and it was too grown up for me. But now that I'm actually a bit more grown up, I've been going back to Insta and really enjoying it. They have featured some great spring fashion, of course a lot of really trendy off the runway things but it's also a great place I find to get inspiration for sewing. Um, what fabrics, what colors, who we've got Lily Collins in a very 70s inspired print. Um, yeah, so things like that and this issue not only does it cover the award show fashions, hello, but this is one of their transitional issues aka the spring issue. They do a fall, spring, summer they may or may not do a winter issue where the issues are bigger and it's not a little, you know, dinky filler issue for $6.99. This is a substantial seasonal switch. So get a hold of this if you haven't already. All right, now let's talk about some beauty products. Um, I had mentioned I was really into the Laura Mercier um, mineral powder foundation in the pressed. And I liked it, but I wasn't crazy about the color because I was in between shades and I didn't have that big of a color selection. And then it dawned on me that Bare Minerals is, of course, the most highly talked about loose mineral powder foundation ever, essentially. And I've actually never tried Bare Minerals. So, here we go. 
Bare Minerals. I picked up the original formula in the shade Fairly Light and Tan. They had a great color selection over in Sephora. It was only about $35, $36 Canadian, which I think given the current status of what beauty products go for, it's a very reasonable entry level luxury price point um, for something like a foundation. So. I got this, I have not used it yet, but I'm hoping it will be beautiful. I was watching, I want to say Shelly or Shelby something, something. I will link her down below in the information bar. Um, she does um, beauty tutorials and she's, I think, a makeup artist by trade. But she often uses Bare Minerals products and she recently did a video about how to make powder foundation look really natural because whenever she wears something like Bare Minerals, it looks so smooth and it looks like a liquid and she just kills it every time. So I watched that and really convinced me to give Bare Minerals a try. So if you've used it, you liked it, didn't like it, have something to share about it, would you leave me a comment in the comment section so I know as well and just get a little heads up, that would be great. Um, additionally, foundation, I've also got here and have been trying out and I'm wearing on my face today the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Foundation in the shade 08 Cream. Um, this came from a blogger friend of mine. Sometimes we swap products when our colors are not exactly the same. Like when I get something that's too dark or when she gets something that's too light, we'll swap and that's been really nice and I'm lucky to have someone like her. So we recently, she recently swapped me the um, Juice Beauty Foundation and I am so pleasantly surprised. Like I said, I'm wearing it today and if you like something like the MAC Face and Body but you wish it was matte, um, sorry, the MAC Face and Body and you wish it was matte and you wish it had more coverage and you wish it was natural, natural, um, Juice Beauty, this might be the way to go. It has a very liquid consistency, it's a water-based foundation but it dries down matte, not powdery per se but matte on the skin and um, feels really lightweight. So I've been really impressed by this Juice Beauty foundation I'm testing out. Additionally, um, I picked up a YSL lipstick. It's my very first one. I mentioned in my last anti-haul video about the Yves Saint Laurent um, oil in balm, I think. The new lipstick that was coming out that was super glossy. It looked like a gloss but in a lipstick format. So I saw it in the store, I swatched it, it was absolutely over underwhelming um, because it was just so sheer, it did not have the intensity that the promotional ads made it look like it did, because it doesn't. So instead, um, I went for the Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Full Up Shine lipstick in the shade 44, which is nude something. I will look it up and link everything in the information bar for you down below. It is also what I'm wearing on my lips today. I thought it's a very appropriate um, light makeup lipstick. For days where I'm just wearing light makeup and not a full face, I find some lipsticks to be too strong for my complexion or just doesn't quite blend in with everything else I'm wearing. So this would be great for those light makeup days. And of course, you can also wear it when you wear a smokier eye or things like that. There were so many beautiful colors in the Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Full Up Shine series that I could certainly have picked out three or four different colors, but I think we'll space them out for the sake of my wallet. So I did get this one from Yves Saint Laurent. And speaking of a little bit of splurging, um, you might notice I got my hair colored at the salon. Uh, my hair was done by Stramad. I'll put his Instagram link down below because that's where I found him. He does a lot of, I guess, transformational hair color. You know, the super popular, the grays, the silvers, the pinks, the purples. Um, he's based here in Vancouver and I was really impressed by his transformations. Of course, being just me and um, you know, wanting to be more professional. I did not go for a super, let's say, bright or rainbow shade, but um, I think, you know, doing something that's natural and subtle also takes its own skill. Like it's, e in a way, you sometimes think when you do something really bold, the boldness of it almost shadows the skill. So you can just slap on some red paint and call a day and say, you know, wow, look at this thing that I did. But to make something natural but pretty also takes 
um, a certain skill set. Did that make any sense? Did I just go off on a tangent all, all on my own? But what I'm trying to say is, like makeup, um, for hair, I think finding someone who will do hair really well and make it look natural but still pretty takes some work. And I was really impressed by his work on Instagram. So I called him up and I said, can you do my hair? And he gave me a really beautiful color, a very tiny bit of a trim. We didn't cut off too much. I'm trying to grow out some layers. But essentially, if this light will pick it up, um, we did a PC balayage and with beige tones because, you know, we were talking and he was saying that a lot of Asians prefer to go really ashy to counteract the red and the copper and the brass that comes out when you bleach Asian hair or bleach dark hair in general. And he really likes a beige tone. Um, which is a bit softer and more flattering than a straight up ash because ash can wash you out sometimes depending on your complexion. So this is what we went with. It is very subtle. If you can't see a lot, that's normal. Um, it shows up a bit more in natural light and in person, obviously. But I just love the blend. It's blended so nicely. All the top here is my natural color. So when it grows out, it will just be rooty. Um, and I won't have to touch up that often. Although I think I might go back and see him in proper summer. And we'll do like a fun color perhaps. So got my hair did. Feeling really good about the hair. Okay, let's go on and talk about this PR package that I got. Um, I've gotten a couple, like I mentioned. I am working through them. I probably will post them over on my blog. But I just want to show you this lovely set from Remel Canada. They recently sent over their matte lipstick collection. Um, a lot of the colors, I don't think this is all of the colors, but I loved that it's in a box. Um, and that is presented also with lip liner, which is kind of important sometimes. I am really looking forward to trying out, of course, you know, the more natural, pretty girly colors, but also they've included a lip liner in brown and they've got a brown lipstick in here, like a brick, a brick red deep chocolate, almost a chocolate tone. And I wonder how that will look on someone with my complexion and what I may come back and wear with it. Like that just sparked so many ideas in my head. And of course, there's a the beautiful purple in there as well. The rest of the colors are fairly natural or neutral. Um, again, this is the matte collection. It's already out in stores. I have seen it. So if you are interested, check that out or wait around until I get a review or swatches up. They also sent along some eye makeup products in a little eyelash cosmetics bag, which is adorable by the way. So their newer range of eyeshadow palettes from Remel. Can you see that? I might do a close up for you and insert when I edit this video. So I've got three. Yeah, you probably can't see that right now. Three of the eyeshadow palettes, that's already in stores. I got some mascara. I also got a BB cream from them. Um, the BB cream mascara are part of their original line already. So the lipstick is kind of new and the palettes are kind of new. So since I have all of these from Remo, I was thinking I might do a one brand makeup look either on the blog or perhaps in the video. I'm hoping to do it for a video because it's more exciting and to see the makeup being applied in real time. So that's the PR package I wanted to show you. Lastly, I do want to update you on some sewing. Um, I decided to make a quilt because I came upon this absolutely adorable fabric design by Sarah Watts. It's limited edition. I got this shipped from Japan, um, but you could buy it from a number of retailers here in North America. It was just slightly cheaper actually what she was selling it for on Etsy. So I bought it from um, an Etsy shop. I'll link it down below as well if you're interested. It features kind of sleeping bunnies and sleeping bears and sleeping fish and bats. It's just so adorable. So I've decided to make a big stitch quilt, which is, I guess, hand quilting. It's not where you cut little triangles and squares and circles and piece them together because I do not have the dexterity for that. But I would love to use this beautiful uh, fabric panel. So what I think I'll do is I will do some hand quilting to attach the panel piece to the cotton batting, which I already bought off of Amazon, and uh, to the back piece. So I'll have a nice little quilt with these animals. I'm really excited about it. I've never quilted before. This could be disastrous, but you'll find out over on Instagram when I update you. 
Another thing is that I put down the money to buy a vintage sewing machine, which, if you also follow me on Instagram, um, I managed to break the bobbin winder in the first uh, six hours I've had the machine, but the bobbin winder piece, the metal was kind of cracked already, so it's just one of those things that it's old. It's an old vintage sewing machine. comes in a cabinet. Um, it is an Eaton's Viking sewing machine. Eaton's being the Canadian department store which no longer exists. Um, it used to be here when I first moved to Canada. I remember going to Eaton's when I was very young. You know, it was big and fancy. It had a great toy section. And at the time, um, my machines from the 70s, at the time they had machines made elsewhere and then imported them and slapped on a sticker and sold it as an Eaton's brand. So I bought it, you know, a little bit for the Canadian history aspect and also I really wanted a vintage machine to sew my vintage patterns on and my vintage clothes. I haven't gotten it tuned up yet. The straight stitch and the zigzag stitch works. It's a beautifully designed machine. Of course, the bobbin winder I broke um, and I think the needle position is stuck. So we'll still have to work with it, but I'm really excited about the machine as a whole. I paid about 60 bucks for it over on Craigslist and compared to others um, that were for sale, I thought it was a pretty good deal for my first vintage collectible, you know, something I could tinker with and play with and also sew with as well. Speaking of which, the last thing I want to mention is that I also ordered um, because it was just beautiful and in such pristine factory folded condition, like it has not been used. I bought a three piece vintage ladies suit pattern from the late 60s, sorry, from the late 50s or the early 60s in that era. And it's gorgeous. It's right about my size. Um, so I'm wondering if you would be interested in seeing a follow along as I make the three piece suit because I really think I'm going to make all three pieces and of course I can always show you at the end when everything's finished but perhaps it might be more interesting and fun to get updates kind of on the progress of me making that. Um, so let me know if you would like that. It's not going to be a so long because not everyone get a hold of this pattern and you know it's no longer produced but if you want something like that leave me a comment let me know in the comment section below and I think that wraps up this video. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Have some good sleep. Go back strong on Monday and I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye!